Oh, wow, double whammy. You think the darkness is your ally? I was born in the dark, molded by it. Daddy Long Leg. Oh, he's biting me! Ah! Oh! Oh! Harvestmen, also known as Daddy Long Legs, are primitive arachnids that superficially might look like spiders, but are in fact more closely related to scorpions. These interesting little invertebrates are what we call detritivores, meaning that they feed on decaying material. So why is it that people think that the daddy long leg is a species of toxic spider, albeit one that doesn't have fangs large enough to bite? Let's take a look at some of the myths surrounding these interesting arachnids. Let's learn about the daddy long leg. For millennia, the American populace has believed lies about the apilion colloquially known as the daddy long leg. Now these creatures, these denizens of the forest, are quite peaceful. And although many believe that they are quite dangerous. This could not be further from the truth. We are, today are going to explore this deciduous wood, see if we can capture and procure one of these unique arachnids to spread the truth about what these organisms truly are. And what are they truly? Extraordinary. So join us as we search for the lovely harvestman dubbed the Daddy Long Leg. Come, my friend. Take a look at what we found. The lovely the dainty daddy long leg. Oh, he's biting me! Ah! Oh! Oh! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Opilions aren't that venomous. In fact, they're not venomous at all. Yeah, yeah, dude up, yeah. All right, I'm gonna spit some truth at y'all for a sec. Y'all ready? Number one. Jack, aren't Daddy Longlegs the most venomous spider in the world? No. No, they're not. In fact, they're not spiders. Huh? W what? That doesn't make any sense, bro. They're spiders, man. They're not. They're not spiders. They're arachnids. But as you can see right here, take a look. How many body segments do we have? One. This is just the cephalothorax and the abdomen fused together. It's just one body segment. If you recall, spiders, cephalothorax, abdomen, right? So although these are arachnids, they are not spiders. They belong to a group called opilions, which are the harvestmen. And what's especially interesting about these little arachnids is that they don't have fangs. They don't have venom. So whoever... Whoever's grandfather told you that this is the most deadly animal and their fangs just aren't small enough to get you, they have absolutely no idea what they're talking about. Because these are actually 
detritivores. What does that mean? They're waste feeders, the vultures of the undergrowth. So they feed on dead insects, on plant juices, decaying plants and fungi and just junk. They sit under rocks and logs and they just munching on that. They don't have fangs. So they are completely harmless towards people. And yes, although they do have eight legs, they are not spiders. Now they're close cousins, uh, but they're as distantly related to spiders as, you know, vinegaroons or whip scorpions or sulfugids or any of those other types of arachnids. Oh, look at that. I bet you didn't know that, huh? They are detritivores. They just eat garbage. They don't even prey on live animals, so they don't need and do not possess venom at all. Look at that. No reason to be afraid of these little creatures. No reason to kill them. Oh, 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 yep. So you can see right down under here, under this body segment, got those little tiny claspers, and then they actually have these two little chelicerae, like a sulfugid or a vinegaroon, these little kind of claw-like snappy mouthpieces that help tear off their decaying food, and bring it into their gullet so that they can eat it. How cool. Let's see if we can find some more. Look in this cave. An apilio trying to hide in the darkness. You think the darkness is your ally? I was born in the dark, molded by it. I did not see the light till I was a man, and by then it was nothing but blinding to me. You know, from the Batman. Look at this little guy. He's so unique and interesting. There's such weird, bizarre little invertebrates, aren't they? The light. Let's go into the cave to learn. The cave. Let me make sure I'm not about to sit on a rattlesnake or something. Which would be sick, but it would also ruin my day. Ah, yes, the cave. The cave. Oi, don't bite me. So these unique little arachnids, like I said, are detritivores. What that means is that these little buggers are gonna eat any decaying material that they find, which is why you're gonna find them in cave systems, in areas that they don't dry out, and that never fully dry out under rocks and logs and things, so that these animals have damp, decaying material, because without water, the decaying process halts, and they're not able to get the nutrition that they need. Bunch of wasps in here, too. I want to be careful. It's not a sting video today, folks. But aren't these absolutely fascinating? Once again, only one body segment. Just that mean little body segment. All those little legs springing off of that. Not a spider, but an apilion. An arachnid, not a spider. Very interesting. Very primitive. Should I put it in my mouth? Wow, double whammy. See, perfectly safe. Don't eat apilions. Don't put them in your mouths, but you're not going to get hurt by them. They're just little, they're little like, I mean, they're like little Tim Burton characters. They're not even real. It's like some somebody in, somebody at Lucasfilm made up. It's just like a little ball with a bunch of little legs on it. And people are like, oh, careful. That's the most venomous spider in North America. If the fangs were any bigger, that would kill you in one bite. No fangs, no venom, all lies, lies. But aren't these so interesting? I'm gonna try and get some really cool shots of these, some close-up shots of just these bizarre alien-looking arachnids, because they are interesting, really, really cool, and harmless, of course. So we'll let this guy back into the darkness. There you go, pal. Oh, he failed. He's all right. He's all right.
Wow! <laughs> Whoa, man, we had a great time <laughs> looking for all that stuff and finding it. So uh, that was pretty cool. I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I definitely learned something about myself. So thank you for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're here for the live premiere, thanks for that. If you're here after that, Thanks for that as well. Uh, you know, a lot of dedication goes into, you know, picking up these little these little things. So really appreciate that, um, the level of support and kindness uh, that you afford me. So thank you guys. Uh, that was really kind of you. It was really sweet that you guys decided to do that for me. So that's... That was pretty sick, uh, like sick good uh, of you guys to do that, um, which you know just really great. Um, you know, uh, a, a you know real chicken noodle soup of the soul kind of deal. So, thank you guys so much uh, for <laughs> tuning in today, and remember that you know I care about you. That you know there are people that care about you, and there the people that care about you really need you to subscribe and to turn on post notifications and buy my merchandise and join the channel memberships and stick around for the next episode so just like don't do it for me don't do it for the awesome content don't do it for the cool stuff that you get to see do it for those that you love because being in defiance of their wishes it's basically slap in the face so thank you all so much for tuning in and i hope to see you next time for the next episode of jack's world of wildlife <laughs>